Hi, this is Bryce with eLearning Brothers. Today I'm going to show you around the themes that are used in Captivate 9 and uh, what they can do for your development. Captivate 9 actually released 10 new themes, so it will be really helpful for uh, picking out your own design and uh, your own look for uh, your courses. So first of all, uh, they did add in the, the, uh, the new breakpoints for these themes. So there's five total, and you can pick and choose between those, those breakpoints. Now I first want to go over the theme colors. I really like how they had all the objects using the theme color palette. So let me show you what I mean exactly. If I, if I choose any object, I can now go over and see what color is being used in that object. So this text color is using the color title inside of the theme palette or the theme colors. So if I wanted to change all the colors in the titles, uh, all the title colors, I can go up here and go to custom uh, or, or theme colors and then customize and change the title color. So let's say I want it to be a dark red. If I save this and apply this uh, to uh, the current theme colors, it will change all these objects to be that red color. Now, um, now you might be wondering, well, this is a, a dark red and this is a lighter red. Well, a nice thing about these theme colors is that you can use a shade of the original color. So uh, what you'll have to do if you want it to go back to that uh, original color is um, make sure that uh, you have a plus here. And what that plus means is that there's an overridden style. So now uh, once I get it to the right color, the red color, and it's in the theme colors, I can now save changes to existing style and it will update to all the other objects that are using this style and this color. Okay, so um, so then I go to master slides and I can now see um, that the text color has been updated to that dark red. Another nice feature in the themes is how they used the image placeholders. Now in Captivate 8, the image placeholders, if I were ever to insert an image in these placeholders, it would actually be skewed in between these uh, breaking points. So uh, the same proportions, which is um, right here, proportions of uh, three, 325 pixels to 256, um, that same proportion wouldn't be used in the different breaking points. But now that's been updated, so it makes sure, sure to use those um, use that same proportion. Also, another nice feature is um, if you see here, there's also another image placeholder not being used in this uh, in this breakpoint. But if we go down into the breaking points, it's now being used in this one, where this one is now off to the side. And again, that's being used like that because um, this proportion is different than this proportion. So if we use the same image, this can be kind of confusing, but if we use the same image that was used on the desktop for this one, uh, we would have a skewed image. So um, yeah, let me show you what I mean exactly. So uh, you need to make sure to go to the desktop view and see the the exact pixel by pixel height, width and height for each image and um, uh, adjust your image to those to that size. So I already did that here and um, I'll, I'll insert those. Okay. But now, if you go down, you can see those images aren't being skewed and they're being proportionally used. Now let's take, for example, I use, if I didn't have this image in here, and I actually used um, this one up here. So let's move this off to the side. Give me a second here. So if I move this off to the side, and I use this one, but I also wanted it to be full screen, See, again, it's being skewed, and I don't want that to happen. So I have a new placeholder, a new image placeholder, and a brand new image to be inserted in so it doesn't have that problem, and it looks, uh, it looks like it should. Okay, so for sake of time, I want to show you an already developed uh, theme. 
Okay, so these this is just using uh, lorem ipsum text. But uh, if you were to throw in your own content, it would look similar to this. So uh, one thing that you you can do with these is interchange between from theme to theme. So I have all the images and um, text in there. Now, say I want to change to uh, this theme up here. All these um, text items and image placeholders and uh, boxes will change to according to the theme that's chosen. So if I change to this theme, all those objects will be updated to where they should be on the screen. So if I go through out each individual breakpoint, they, they work together and they work how they should. So, um, so that's a really powerful tool that the um, that the themes can provide. However, uh, one word of caution is take, for example, you want to add in more uh, stuff to the layout. So if you wanted uh, another text box, right, that has maybe a new style to it. Uh, hold on here, let's just make this right here. Oh, I need to first change the style. So let's change it to the red color and I change create new style um, new style. Okay. So if I add in objects and uh, maybe a new image right here and I adjust different things on the stage. Okay, if I adjust some things and now change to a, a new theme. So what happened is, uh, check this out, a lot of different things were messed up. Um, even though I added a few, uh, few images and a few different objects, uh, some things can get messed up. So if I reset the slide, I still have this uh, image that's in the wrong spot, uh, this text that's not working right. So, um, so yeah, you need to make sure if you are to change in between themes that you aren't using what's outside of the, um, the layouts that are already set if that makes sense. So uh, take for example, if I go into the master slides, I see all these preset layouts that are named certain things, objects, table of contents, things like that. Uh, and then I can go to another theme and they will have these same layouts with the same names, with the same amount of objects and uh, in a similar uh, position. However, if you stick with the, uh, the, the layouts, you can interchange in between different themes and they will work very nice. And um, can, you can then now pick out uh, a certain style that you want for, for your course. So say now you have your style picked out, but you, now you still do want uh, more theme or, or more layouts inside of your course and you wanna adjust some, some objects. Uh, one thing you might want to do is uh, change and make new styles. Uh, a really nice thing about Captivate is that they have what's called the, um, the OSM or the Object Style Manager. You can also get to it by uh, holding down Shift and hitting uh, F7 key. If you go to it, it will show you a list of all the objects and uh, object styles. So, um, so here's my new style that I created, and I can now go through each individual breaking point and see exactly what colors being used inside the breakpoint and uh, what font size, things like that. So, if I ever wanted to change things, I could also change it here in the OSM. And it makes it really easy just to show show you all again all the styles and uh, and you can then change and make sure that they all are um, they all are working properly. So uh, for instance, smart shapes they all have normal rollover and down states. You want to make sure that all the tablet and desktop views are are. Um, are what they should be. You can come into here and make sure that um, 
make sure that they they are what you want them to be, right? So um, so this is a really easy way to to look at all your styles this way. So that's it on the uh, the themes. I hope you enjoyed the the tutorial and uh, learned something new. But um, thanks for listening and have a nice day.